We'll see. Hey, that rhymed. Anyways. Pokepan all comfy in the jacket, ready to go, ready to game. I'm loving this striped shirt here by Depo. <laughs> so I think Pokey's going to be playing Pits, from what I've heard, but I mean, you know, I don't know. That might not be true. We will see. We will see. I, wow. You're watching the Tempest VOD? Appreciate it. For those watching the Tempest VOD, gathering your Ness info and your Pokey Pen info playing Dark Pit. Dark Pit. Okay. Cool. Pokey Pen. I love that. Oh my gosh. Momga and Norway are my favorite, like, supporters in the scene for their partner. Or not their partner, but just their people, you know? In general. They're basically family, right? Oh my gosh. So it looks like we have a little bit of a button situation here. We're just kind of, like, pressing some things around. Got to move some characters, some people. It looks like the... Yeah, we gotta flip some things real quick. Just a button check, maybe? I'm not sure. Alright, and we're gaming. Let's switch over. Perfect. Nair, fair! Pokey's definitely got those combos. Oh my gosh! Debo, it's Debo with a B. Debo definitely knows his stuff. Woo! Down throw, back air, almost doing it for for Pokey Pen. Oh my God! Whoa! And just a slick back air taking the first stock for Debo. Oh my God! That was wild. Fair tries to dash to get a, a funky follow up, but nothing to come of that. Woo! And yeah, so Pokepen taking advantage of those multiple jumps, being able to stay in the threat zone there for a little bit, waiting for Debo to come back down again and hits him with the second back air, taking the, the first stop for for Debo. Or for Pokepen, I should say. Hey yo, arrow in the middle of the stage with me. Yeah, and early tech rollout's gonna get covered by Debo. Debo almost with a full hop. Uh, cr like cross up there, but nothing happens. Oh my gosh, and Pokemon getting hit by a clutch down smash. Not gonna lie, Debo with a little bit of a lead here. Hey yo, Air my name's Ness. I heard you like aerials, so I got you aerials. To do more aerials and holy crap, that tender was fucking awesome. Holy shit, that was fucking crazy. Jeez Louise, man. He back aired him, I think. Like, I'm gonna have to see how that lint, because that was insane. Jesus Christ. Debo with a commanding first game over Pokepen's Dark Pit. Jeez. That was so raw. Holy shit. That was crazy, man. I love it when people support their players. You know, that's always nice to see. Pokepen pick Pyramithra! That's crazy! Alright, the the brown ult, we love it. Alright, alright. Pokepen's Pyramithra. See how it goes. I haven't seen it yet. I get the weird characters. Saw a bit of a uh, Mythra percent here so far. Looking good for Pokepen. Uh oh. A little bit of an up air string. That was gaming with the Schnes. This is winner's quarters. Yep. Yep. And honestly, this is a good time to switch to, to Pyra. 
Being off stage's pyro though is not gonna be Oh my god, the down air up smash on the platform. That's so crazy then. Oh my gosh, the switch is back to Mithra. It's still on their first stock. Pokepen's kinda gaming on the second game here. What the heck? Four sights through that like is nothing. His multi hits kinda not looking that useful for Ness here. Whoa, yeah. They're 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 like zoning, they're like drifting in and out. The 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 air drift on these characters is weird. Oh my god. Solid throw. Tries to run it with the sneaky forward smash with uh, Mithra, but nothing to come of that except for, <laughs> except for a back throw. Oh, okay, so Devil actually has the right idea. If you get multi-hits with those mags, you can definitely set up into a down air, and it's pretty schnasty. A little back air, a little back air, a couple back airs. Debo with a commanding advantage state. Almost getting caught in his down smash, but not quite. Ominous Revolt's gonna take it on the left side. Holy crap, that's actually the stock lead for Pokepen. Let's see if they can uh if they can keep this lead going and get a surmount a good amount of damage and that's gonna do it, yeah, that's gonna do it for, for the second stock. Back throw for Nas here. A oh, silly fair is probably gonna not be a whole lot of damage. Solid Mithra advantage stay here, getting some damage. That sword is swinging, swinging that sword. Okay, solid foresight, definitely optimal probably to do that. Nice and safe. This is actually a very scary situation, I think. Uh, technically, swords aren't very good for Ness, but Debo proving that they have the the Ness kind of skill and stuff. Oh, and the down air. No, okay, so no down air, but oh, a little bit of a magnet. Oh, the magnet, no grab. That magnet fair grab would have been really gnarly there for Debo. Yeah, big ledge situation still going on for Pokepen here, and that the F tilt is doing wonders for Pokepen. Managing to dodge the grabs. Oh my gosh, and the, the late hit of a uh, back air, or maybe down air even? I don't know, they'd be swinging weird. That was gnarly. And the Aegis pulling it out, game two for Pokepen. Really close game and some crazy, you saw that Debo had some really good setups in their mind there for a second. With the, the magnet, almost getting the magnet down there. Some pretty good combos overall. It was a good game. And honestly, I haven't seen a lot of 2-0s on, on stream so far. It's actually been a lot of game 3s. Super exciting stuff. Uh, gonna see if Pokemon stays Aegis after that, probably. I don't know if they're the kind to switch after a dub. You have to be a very specific kind of person to be able to switch after you win a game with a character that you counterpicked to already. It's kind of crazy. But here we go. Got ourselves a little bit of a crowd for this game. This game three, Pokepens. Aegis versus Debo's Ness. Pokepen did a really good job of um, spacing with Pyra's sword and everything. Oh my gosh. They're just swinging. They're swinging away. Ooh, and the Pyra coming out. That would have been really, really smicks to have the Pyra knock back there in that situation. ba 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 we still down. Tragic. Oh my gosh. Wow, this... F oh man, and there's the first stock. For Debo, just a um, grimy-ass first stock here in this game. And Jab almost taking it. Mithra. Debo at a really high percent. Probably could die to a lot of different things from, from Pyra here. Whoa, kind of makes the neutral B movement recovery there. That was crazy. Gets caught by the 
Oh my god, trying to get these PK Fire Links, knowing that Pyro's kind of stuck in Dis since they don't have Foresight. This is so scary. This first stock is kind of getting ahead of Pokepen. And oh man, the drift back with the up air. That's crazy. That back air sitting so far away. And yeah, this side would be kind of not the best move there. Getting it, going to get caught out by the... Oh, trying again for the magnet setup. Jesus Christ. Trying to get the clip. Oh, and even angles it up. Almost ready to catch Pokepen lacking. Chillin'. And this third stock is just too much. Debo is gaming. Oh boy! Down air is gonna send super far, but not gonna quite kill. Debo has so many options to just kinda go crazy in this situation, and there it is, kinda raining in. There's the first stock, so let's see what we can get with Mithra. Maybe we get a lot of damage here really quick. It is a sortie. Nice, good switch. Really good switch. This is a crazy second stock by Pokepen. Crazy! And oh my gosh, there's the stock for Pokepen making it kind of a really competitive game here in game three. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Sitting at 87%, like a lot of things could set up into a gnarly kill here for Debo. And oh, holy crap! That was crazy, clutching it. Oh, switch, double switch. Get up attack, negates the up smash. We're chilling at 121%. Oh man, this is terrifying. Pokepen with the center stage control though. This is really, really nice looking kind of good for Pokepen even though he has so much damage on him. Debo's totally fine, just chilling. Debo really wants to play next to the ledge. Like it's just beneficial for him at, that, at this point. Oh my gosh, and a really clutch down air would work here. Oh, tries to go for forward smash and manages to get out of that situation though. One more of those weird back airs at any any side of the stage is probably gonna take it here. No ledge re-grab punish. Oh my gosh, aggressive get up with the Nair. Oh my gosh, Pokemon actually clutching out game three. That was crazy, oh my gosh. Pokemon, really good showing. That was such a crazy comeback, dude, holy crap. Really well played by both players there. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Holy crap. And that was for the VOD, I think. I don't even think we're live. That was for the VOD, man. That was gnarly. Uh, Protostar Internet. Or I should say Gameworks Internet. What a crazy, crazy set. Honestly, Pokepen bringing out the Aegis to get the dub, but it was like, it was actually kind of terrifying. Like, it almost didn't work. That was such a clean back air. Pokepen with a clean three-stock comeback on that game three. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy. That was the stock. Like, after that, I was like, this is mad doable, man. What the hell? And he was down to go out there on that last stock, you know? That was impressive. That was impressive. They're moving some some stuff around. And here's your top eight already, or almost. JDV Jojo on the top. 